Hey, this is Grant from Aircon Solutions. We're all about delivering your zoning temperature solution. And today we're just going to do a quick guide on how to go about setting up a wall sensor onto the MyAir system. So what we need to do is just go to the setup page, tap on the advanced information, and down here on the, we can see the RF system uh, ID. So this is the addressing um, switch. So that we just need to replicate this onto anything that we're trying to uh, address to the system. So what we need to go, we go onto the wall sensor, and it has the same four segment dip, dip switches here. So we just need to go through and match them. So one for this example, one and two are up, three is uh, one and two is on, three is off, four is on. So we go through one and two is on, three is off, four is on. Beautiful. So now we need to tell it what zone are we going to want it to control. So for example, uh, I'm just going to move it. We'll move. We we'll just we'll engage it. To, engage this wall sensor onto the study zone. So we just go down. And we just count, work out uh, which one, zone it is, so zone number six. And we just push across the dip switch for zone number six to on, and only just the one that we want to control. If you do any others, it will confuse the system and it won't, it won't actually register the temperature. So once that's done, we pull out the, the cardboard that enables the battery to connect, and then you'll find it will then pop, the temperature will pop up on, on, the, uh, on here, as you can see it does. That's, now that's registered that wall sensor is now working for zone number six. If we were to um, put on and to have too many have too many dip switches pushed across, for example two, it will actually come up and it will actually it will drop away the temperature or come up an exclamation mark on the left hand side here. See the temperature is now dropped away. It's now registered that there's an issue, and it's, it's saying that you know after a while it'll register it and actually identify that there's a problem and give you a fault a warning. So that's just how you set that up. It's just a simple way of adding wall sensors to it. I'd always advise, once you've set up the dips, uh, dip switches for the uh, zone, that you just go through and label it. That way you cannot get confused. So for example, this one was we set for study. So we just write study. Now this, so this now it's back on, that I've only got the one dip switch activated. Thank you for watching. We invite you to follow us and also check out our online stores.